Hello everyone, my name is Nasmish Kandekar and we're going to take a look at the new Visual Studio installer that comes with the next version of Visual Studio 20, uh, Visual Studio. The current version is, uh, at the time of this recording, is Visual Studio 2015, uh, which is actually version number 14. The next version has not been named yet, but I'm going to guess it's going to be called Visual Studio 2017 or 2016. We'll see. It is referred to as its version number, Visual Studio 15. Uh, so the next version of Visual Studio has a brand new installer. Uh, what you see right now in front of you is the current installer for Visual Studio 2015, version 14. Uh, this is the current installer. This is a very complex installer. You pick your uh, components and uh, soft application development tools and you install them. Uh, I'm, I, I already have Visual Studio 2015 installed, so I ran the setup uh, again and chose the option to modify my install just so I could show you what uh, what the installer looks like. So the new installer, uh, when you actually download Visual Studio, you actually get the new installer. The new installer installs itself into the computer, so you could always run it to modify your Visual Studio installation or update it. Uh, so you have the new installation in the start menu, which is called Visual Studio Installer. There it is, Microsoft Visual Studio Installer. I'm <coughs> before I open it, uh, this is Visual Studio 15, the next version of Visual Studio. When you launch it, uh, there's an uh, I already I already used the installer to install a very basic version of Visual Studio like the bare bones code editor because I already have Visual Studio 2015 installed so I don't want to waste disk space with extra components I just use this I just installed the basic uh, code editor which takes up uh, only a few hundred megabytes and so I could test out the code editor itself for actual development I use the current uh, shipping version of Visual Studio so so as you can see I open the next uh, future version of Visual Studio Visual Studio 15 and it, ha it has an update. Uh, I haven't updated it because I want to show you what the experience is like. So when you click it, it says update for Visual Studio available. So this will also launch the Visual Studio installer. So you can launch it from the start menu or launch it from here. This is why a Visual Studio installer is actually installed into the system because it's like the ultimate management software for Visual Studio, deployment software basically. So let's click it and this should launch the Visual Studio installer this is what you'd actually get if you actually launch the Visual Studio and start from the start menu you know what I want to keep Visual Studio open because I want to see how it handles uh, prompting you uh, about closing uh, Visual Studio before uh, before inst updating itself so the installer itself needs to be updated so we're going to update the installer uh, I'm going to click yes okay see uh, as I said the installer actually downloads and installs itself in the computer so Unlike most setup programming, which you just run the setup.exe directly and it installs the software, this setup actually installs itself into the computer, which is interesting. And I like it. It's, it's, it's good to have an existing a software to manage your Visual Studio installation quickly and easily. And as, as you can see, I still have Visual Studio running. So we're going to see how this software handles it. Trying to cl uh, how it prompts you to close the software, or does it prompt you to close the software? close the software. Uh, this installer is actually in preview, it's not shipped yet. And uh, then that's what and in fact you can't even install everything you want need or you might want from visual next version of Visual Studio because it's not done yet. So for that you might Microsoft st or still offers the old classic installer. So if you need more uh, advanced configuration or fine grain uh, if you want to uh, fine tune your install or if you want to install something that's not available through the installer you could you you're you're supposed to use a classic installer for now now it detected that I have Visual Studio installed so it says modify Visual Studio 15 preview now as I said I would only install the basic code editor but as you could see we just simply check off the items you need it's very descriptive so if you need to if you need .NET development um, develop WPF Windows Forms and other console application using the .NET or C programming language and Visual Basic basically. Uh, in the other installer you have to click like a d Windows Desktop and choose the languages you want to like you want do you want Windows Desktop application development? Do you want Windows Store application? Those are, it's like very confusing but now it's very clear to understand what what type of comp uh, d it just ask you, asks you what kind of development you want to do and it'll select the appropriate components for you whereas the other one would actually ask you to select the components yourself. I guess um, 
people who like to fine tune their install might not like it but we'll see how it goes so this python uh, more coming soon i don't think windows store development uh, <coughs> developing windows universal apps are here yet i don't see anything uh, either c++ now i could uninstall visual studio it ne also recognizes i could it it, le it also acts as a launcher so i could sl uh, it could launch the software it could uninstall the checked software or it could it, it notices that uh, i have an update so it could update the software i don't know if it always has the word option update and clicking it would simply check for updates or or if this button appears if if and only if there's actual an update so we could we could test it again after I finish up the update process. So let's see how updating works in uh, Visual Studio. Oh, it also says the install size, so it could determine how the all, how all the components are taken, how much space the components are taking up. And as I said, it's only a few hundred megabytes earlier. So let's see, there's also a little re release notes. Uh, oh, there's also a banner right here. Visual Studio 15 is one of its components has an update. Uh, Visual Studio 15 preview or one of its components has an update. So I guess I could click here or here, but I don't know if this button is always there regardless of an update actually being available. But let's do that. Updating Visual Studio. So I'll be back, guys. Oh, okay. The operation couldn't be completed because Visual Studio is still running. So you could run the installer, but when you... Tr so I guess... Interesting. So you could run the installer, and only when you try to update the software, it'll check for if the application is open. So I'm guessing if Visual Studio itself didn't have an update, but only Python did, I could might I potentially might have been able to update the software if Python itself wasn't running. But I'm not sure. I'll have to check that out in the future. So let's close it and update it again. Oh, it's removing Visual Studio. Interesting. Can I run Visual Studio? No. That was a quick uninstall. It uninstalled Visual Studio and Snap, so it must be a better way. It I have never seen Visual Studio being uninstalled that quickly. Let me go see. Uh, let me see what. There is no. Oh my God, that's very interesting. Uh, does it is the actual software there? Let me go to Program Files x86. Visual Studio. Where's Microsoft Visual Studio? 15 there is no visual studio 15. it just removed the entire thing oh my god <laughs> that was a quick uninstall they have definitely updated the back end technology because in the previous version of uh the installer updating and uninstalling and installing took ages it actually literally placed individual files and whereas this one this just zapped the entire install directory it's gone it's amazing so that's very cool. So I'm going to be back after the download is complete. I'm going to see how it works. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. So it finished downloading and it's just extracting the packages. So let's see how quickly it installs actually. So this is going to be interesting. Extracting Team, Expl Team Explorer VI.VIX. What is VIX? I have no idea. Is it just going to zap the folder into the program files directory? If it does, it's going to be quite interesting, actually. So, we're going, to, we're going to test this, guys. Let's see how it works. Hmm. I downloaded it, so I guess it's taking longer than usual to extract this. But oh, installing Nugget and uh, images. This is very cool. Setup completed. That was a fast install. I am. Oh my god, that's amazing. So can I run? run yeah, I can run run Visual Studio pretty easily. Now let's see where this thing is installed. So I'm gonna go to open file location. So program files, Microsoft. Oh, I guess the pro file was there. I was, I was looking for Microsoft Visual Studio 15, but this one doesn't have a number in it. That's interesting. I guess Microsoft might not from now on they might actually not label it any version in its install directory does that mean the visual studio from now on is going to get updated like office does and windows does in that the, this would be the quote unquote last version of visual studio and you and you can't 
once you buy it, you can't buy it in retail. You have to buy it in a, as a subscription through MSDN. Cur because currently, you could buy, you can buy a standalone copy of Visual Studio, but perhaps, but the lack of number might show that you might actually might actually have to buy a Visual Studio in, as a subscription only, and you'd always get the latest version. But I'm not sure. Uh, I doubt that's going to be the case because sometimes you will need an older version of a developer and development a developer uh, uh, code editor like a integrated development environment because uh, f to maintain compatibility with an older older project or anything because this is not like an office suite it's it is more complicated than that so I doubt Microsoft when you do it but I wonder how are they going to install a newer version this is very interesting they might have a it might be like this. They might have a different folder inside the Visual Studio directory. Yeah, that might just like a Visual VS Preview. They might have VS 15, VS 16. Okay, that that that's could that's how it could work. But they have a different installer. I guess the installer could be used to manage all versions of Visual Studio going forward. That's very interesting. So yeah, we have shell. Yeah. Nope. Uh, is it common seven? Nope. Hmm. Where was this? Let's go back and open file location. Oh, it's in common, it's common 7 and IDE. Okay. Yeah, so this is uh, the Visual Studio uh, directory. Let's compare this to how the Visual Studio, uh, the, the latest version of Visual Studio, Visual Studio 15, 14 is installed. So you have uh, common 7 here. Uh, ID, so very similar. So, yeah. So it does, but it does install a lot quicker, and that's amazing. So I'm very impressed with the install. It's very simple and easy to use. And yeah, as this also answers your question. There is no update button, so that button is not a check for update. That actually only appears if there is an update. So that's very cool. So there you have it, guys. Uh, quick, or not a quick rambling demo, a ram demo plus rambling about the new Visual Studio installer. Have a good one. If you want to see more of these weird videos about me just rambling about Visual Studio and other technology stuff and Windows, feel free to subscribe. I'll definitely like this video if you do. If you don't like this video, hit the dislike button twice. Any questions or comments, you can definitely leave them down below and I'll try my best to answer. And uh, yes, that'd be it for today and I will talk to you later.